always look on the bright side of life. Always look well, on I've been working with Python since 1978, um, and so they're going to know meaning of life. Uh, Fish called Wanda with John Cleese, um, and uh, all of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Uh, so uh, I did the first one in 19. Gosh, 1990, something like that. And this year I've just been remixing those two scores. So mm -hmm. the Wonder score is now being re-released on CD for the, the whole score. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 is coming out on a double vinyl uh, in America. So I'm looking forward to that. So it's great to revisit them both and remix them with all the modern technology that we have now. Mm -hmm. Make them sound really good. Well, I've been, as, I've been working with Eric since 1978 on Life mm -hmm. of Brian, um, and uh, he, he um, produced the contractual obligation, the contractual, he produced the contractual obligation <laughs> album, uh, it, which uh, I was music director and he was uh, producing it on behalf of the other Pythons. And all of the Pythons contributed their own songs. So I got to know them individually at that point. Um, and we've been writing songs uh, ever since. Um, I always loved uh, Python. Uh, I was at, at, at Oxford when the first series came out. I went up in 66, mm -hmm. 66, and I was actually in Hong Kong um, in 68, 69. So I missed the, the, the opening of it. And I had no time in my final year at Oxford for watching any television. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really see Flying Circuits until mm -hmm. You know, I saw it in retrospect. By the way, there was no video then, and so you had to, uh, and there was no, uh, yeah. you couldn't record shows, so unless you got the live broadcast, you missed it. So I think if I'd been a hardcore fan and I knew every line and I worshipped the ground they worked on, I, it would have been impossible to work with them. And so. I think that we knew from the tours that Python sketches and Python songs work. We, 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 we learn to sort of rhythm that you have a funny sketch and then a funny song and then mm -hmm. a funny sketch again. And it sort of, it, it refreshes, you, you, you know, the sketch refreshes you for the song and the yeah. song refreshes you for the sketch. Mm -hmm. And so when it came to spam a lot, we ended up with that rhythm. So you end up with a really funny sketch and then a really good song. Mm -hmm. And it, that's, that's the structure of the show. So we sort of applied those lessons we've learned with the live tours to this show. Mm -hmm. And then came in Mike Nichols, who's a, 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 brilliant, a brilliant thinker. Um, his, his, his grasp of structure was amazing. And so, because the, 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 there's a sort of saying that the right note in the wrong place is the wrong note. Yeah. And, and it's like that with, so it's, it's not just having funny sketches and funny songs, it's the order in which they go, how they play off each other. Well, the song that goes like this, uh, but uh, I have a very, very uh, soft spot for I'm All Alone. Mm -hmm. it, it was one of the last songs to be written. Um, and it's, uh, it's a lovely moment, you know, in, in all of this kind of silliness and mayhem, you know, comes uh, uh, the, this song, which works on two levels. It's, it's kind of a very emotional song. But because, because of Patsy being present there, it's really funny. So it's a kind of, uh, uh, Mike Nichols said that we could do funny and, uh, it, and sentimental at the same time. And, and, and a lot of, you know, like all of the great comedic people like um, Charlie Chaplin, it's happening all the time. The pathos and the comedy are working alongside each other. Mm -hmm. And in that song, and it's also the, the point in the show where the whole plot resolves. Once they get together emotionally, then everything follows and the, the, the plot can wrap up. I would go back to the, to the basic elements of it. I mean, brilliant writing from Holy Grail, you know, uh, uh, particularly from Michael Palin. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, uh, and very, you know, a strong score. The, 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 the music, a lot of directors have said the music is the glue that holds the show together. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think there's a lot of music in it, it's 23 songs. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it doesn't seem like that, you know, yeah. this rhythm of song, of, of sketch song really works. 
I think Mike Nichols's contribution to make it a really, really strong, um, a strong uh, dramatic structure. You know, and not not last and least it is the casts. You know, the casts bring so much to this. Mm -hmm. We've got a very young cast on this tour. And so youthful energy is always great, isn't it? I mean, because mm -hmm. it's the future. So I'm interested to see the energy that they bring into it. Eric said it should work with a prop basket and a piano. So it, it, a prop basket full of hats. So you put the hat on, mm -hmm. you have the piano do the music, and it should work at that level. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't depend on lots of sort of trickery yeah. and, uh, you know, um, complicated arrangements and so forth. Mm -hmm. the, the, the tune and the words should work. Yeah. First thing. So a lot of mm -hmm. shows, you're lucky if you get 10 laughs in the whole evening. Yeah. Well, this show has big laughs every minute. I mean, sometimes more than a minute. Um, I think children love Spam a lot because it's, um, they love the way that, that King Arthur, an authority, is humiliated and sent, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, children always love that. They like to see the headmaster slip up on a banana skin and, of course, the killer rabbits. The choreography from Casey Nicolau is amazing as well. He's, he's, he's got like three hit shows on in London now. He's now a big director. Um, something rotten, Beauty and the Beast, Book of Mormon. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, he went on from choreographing uh, Spamalot to become a... So all of that is in. The, the choreography is hilarious. Um, so it's... Um, I've been to a lot of shows um, and I still love Spamalot <laughs> because it's, it's so funny and I've seen it must have seen it over a thousand times and I always find something fresh. And so if you want to forget all your troubles and have a really great evening, go to Spam. Always look on the right side of life. Come on, boy, cheer up.